Hello YouTube and welcome to another Elasticsearch tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to use the Bulk API in order to insert data into Elasticsearch. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, let's make sure that Elasticsearch is up and running. So our execute command system ctl status and the name of my Elasticsearch server. So here you can see the service is up, active and running. So now in order to use the bulk API, we need a sample file to test it. Okay. So I'll be using a file from the Elasticsearch site. So I will use the command here wget in order to download this JSON file. So as you can see here, the minus O for the output file will be account.json. So this is our sample file that we'll be using in order to test this bulk insert. Okay, so I will hit just here, enter here. And I will wait for the file to be downloaded. As you can see, the download is complete. So let me show you just some records from that file here. So it's on my desktop. So I will use the command head and I will show just the three first lines or record from that file, which is account that JSON. Here we go. So as you can see here, the first line contains just the field indexed and the ID will be one. And for the second record, actually we have here the different fields that actually will be inserting into our index in Elasticsearch. So for example, here you can see the account number, which is one in this case, the balance, which is 39,000, actually 225. We have here the first name, the last name, the age, the gender, the address, okay? The employer, the email, the city and state. So all those kinds of information will be inserted into Elasticsearch. So actually this file contains about uh, 1000 documents or 1000 records. Okay. So the bulk API will be helpful in order to insert all this big amount of data set into our Elasticsearch. So in order to do that, we'll be also using the curl command. So I will show you how. So this is the curl command that we'll be using here. So curl minus S minus H. So of course the content type here is application JSON. And we'll be using the method post in order to insert data to our Elasticsearch. So as you see here, it's on my local host. The port is the default one, which is 9200. Okay. So our index, in this case, the name is accounts, but I can use whatever name I want. And of course the type is docs. And here we'll use in actually the bulk API. But we have to specify here in option data binary and between double quotes, there is here arobask and accounts.json. So, so this is actually our JSON file that contains 1000 accounts that will be inserted into Elasticsearch. Okay. So let's run this command and see the result. Here we go. The command is now running and the data are inserted into Elasticsearch. So now that we have finished 
we have no error here we have as you can see here I guess on all records or all documents we have a successful state but let's verify that in another interface so here I'll be using actually a plugin that we have used in our previous video which is the head Chrome extension in order to see all this data so let's switch to this Chrome extension to see that so remember the index name is accounts okay so here we go so now we are in Chrome and this is the head Chrome extension for Elasticsearch so if you want to install it you can just actually switch to my previous video it's very easy to install extension for Chrome and in the main page you see all the indexes that we have actually in our Elasticsearch so here at the right end you can see the account index that we have inserted so it also contains five shards because each index is actually sliced into shards and here the most interesting thing for us is the ducks so the number of ducks that we have here is 1000 so we have successfully succeeded into inserting this huge not huge but 1000 record is uh, something into this index here and the size of course is 499 kilo bytes okay if you want to see the details here so now you can see using this bulk api we have succeeded into inserted this data set into our elastic search so finally i can do some uh, if you want some queries into this uh, elastic uh, search index just for testing okay so I can just simply go to this browser tab here in my Elasticsearch extension here et voila you can see here all the indices that I have but I can just choose accounts here and you can see here the index the type the ID the score the account number so this is the real data that we have actually inserted into Elasticsearch so here you see the column for account number, balance, first name, last name, age, gender, address, employer, email, city and state. So all the data are actually inserted. Okay. So here you can see at the top we have 1000 heads. So we have 1000 documents. Okay. So with the help of this work API, we have succeeded to insert this huge amount of data into Elasticsearch. Of course, you can use whatever query using the DSL language into Elasticsearch. But here I'm using just this beautiful and simple Elasticsearch extension named head. Okay. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.